Welcome to Dead Boy's Corner, and today, what are we doing today? Oh yeah, uh, installing Manhunt 2 on uh, the Steam Deck slash Linux, so let's get right into it. Switching to desktop, ow. Okay, so now that we are in the desktop, gonna go open up uh, Dolphin, which is the file manager for uh, Plasma. This is uh, the default uh, desktop environment uh, for uh, uh, the Steam Deck. So, uh, after you have uh, downloaded the ISO, which I will link in the description of the video, we are going to need to mount it. If you don't have a way to mount ISOs, it's pretty easy to do. Okay, so you just go into this like hamburger like style menu. And then you go into configure, configure Dolphin, go to context menu, and press download new services. This allows you to customize uh, uh, the file manager. So we are just going to give it the ability that it can mount ISOs. So I normally just type in ISO, and the one that I personally use is mount slash unmount ISO. It just makes the nice little context menu when you right click allowing you to mount it. So now that it's mounted, it will be like this. So we will just uh, open up uh, Steam and we are going to navigate. To where our installer is. About three. Ah, uh, my favorite thing, waiting for network. Okay, and then just go into library. Gonna add a non-Steam game. Gonna browse, and then we're just gonna browse to the setup EXE, just like that. And then press add selected, it will be setup.exe. Gonna go to properties, compatibility, and we're just gonna go with the Proton Experimental. Normally, I use a GE Proton, which you can get uh, through um, the program. Uh, I think it's like Proton Up QT, which is available on the Discover Store. It normally just like fixes like uh, some things because um, it has like certain libraries that like the regular Proton or Proton Experimental doesn't have because licensing reasons, but that's a whole entire different thing. So now we press play on uh, the setup and we just go through the installer process. Welcome to Manhunt 2 Setup Wizard. And scroll down. No one reads the EULA. I go to custom. And we're just going to find where we're going to place it. So I want to place it in uh, my Z drive. So Z drive is the internal drive. And then it'll be home, deck. And then I normally just put it in games. Yep, just like that. Yeah, and then it creates a folder, and then press install. Should install uh, all the dependencies with it. If it doesn't, we'll go into uh, a Proton Tricks and then uh, install them that way. But normally with these installers and stuff, it just comes with it built in so we'll just go to a little bit of time i'm going to pause it real quick and resume once it's done so now that we're back we can press finish on that and now that we uh, have that part set up we'll just go into the crack folder and we will copy its crack and go into games where we have our Manhunt 2, and we'll just uh, overwrite that with that one. And now, 
just go into properties. Gonna do manhunt two. And then this time, instead of moving to where the ISO is, we'll just move to where we actually have the game installed. So manhunt two, set that as the folder. And then we'll set this as manhunt2.exe, just like that. And put uh, the quotation so it can actually launch. Press play like that, and theoretically, it should launch. About three, two, whoa. And then to set up controllers for it, I'm gonna go here, go to community, and we'll go manhunt to working controller. Apply that. And now that is done. Anyway, that is how to set up Manhunt 2 on uh, the Steam Deck. If you like the video, give it a like. If you dislike the video, give it a dislike. Any questions or comments, leave those down below. I have a Discord that I will pin as a comment because I am on there quite frequently and uh, subscribe. Anyway, thanks for stopping at Dead Boy's Corner and peace.